So if you've done Noku Defensive, and I, I don't know if you need to do Heroic or Normal for this, but if you've done it enough times, maybe while doing the five Heroics for week, per week thing or what have you, chances are if you completed it, one of these is dropped. At least one. Uh, still in Breath of Anara. And you may have realized if you've done it more than once, like a lot of times, there reaches a point where you can't hold more than three in your inventory. And they'll sit in your bank until you find something else to do. They are account bound, so you can transfer them between characters. So if you've got someone another character and you get one, on, you kind of give them the three max. I don't seem to be having a problem collecting three of these. I'm having a problem trying to find something to do with them. Because you, you can sell them for one gold. They're not, you know, they're not something that's just going to sit in your bag and you have to destroy. It's just annoying when it pops up and you're like, oh, what's in my mail? And you're like, oh, one of these again. So I kind of just let them sit there going like, you know, it's probably for something that I might get eventually one day. <laughs> my bank is full of things that are full of, that's probably something that I might use to get a thing one day. <laughs> that's why I have no bank space. Uh, yeah, every time I do, I just look at all the, the things that the Zareth Mortis mounts. <sighs> I will attempt that at some point, not now. But in this case, I was like, let me find out what the deal is with this. So it turns out Stolen Breath of Onara is for a mount uh, that you get from an item called, from a quest, a Whispering Breeze, Divine Kiss of Onara. Now, I thought I did all the quests in the Onara planes, but apparently you need to have these items before you get this quest. Uh, I'm going to put the Wowhead link in this. Um so you can find it because someone does break it down thankfully they there's they Arkira um on Wowhead uh responded with like a step by step like references guides giving credit to the secret finders um discord uh the video a video guide all of this so I decided to take my three things and just look on here on what else I need to get this thing there are a couple of stipulations. You need to be max rep with uh, the Maruk. So that I wasn't worried about because I got, I, I maxed out rep pretty early on um, in this expansion. So you need to be a max rep. I know it looks like I, I'm, I'm actually just, I've been 25 for a while. It just, it's, I'm about to get an extra thing from them from getting rep again, probably. Probably even tonight. So anyway. Um, you need to have done the quest for Lizzie's Reigns, which is, um, it's a Thunderspine Tramper. It's, let's see if I can, I can get them out. I know I have that already because I have done that quest already. So you need to, here we go. Lizzie, Thunderspine Tramper. So there's a whole quest to get this. You have to have done this. And and then you get Lizzie, which is this, this interesting mount. Not my first choice, but it was a fun quest to do. So, yeah, it was fun to do and you get a mount for it. And I can't, I, ne I never complain about more mounts. Um, so you have to do that. You have to max out your Murak rep. You have to get Lizzie's reins. Uh, you have to get them out. Um, then once you have three still in Breath of Anara, you need to head to go to Lodo. Where is go to Lodo? <laughs> Where is go to Lodo? So I have to find, okay. I'm good. And this is why I'm on Wowhead. You can't see me on Wowhead, but I'm about to put in a TomTom -tom code because I don't know who this person is. I probably do, but I forgot. Okay, they're quite a ways away from a rook. Um, there's another item I have to get, and I'll talk about that when I get there. But let's pick up this quest first. So once you have three of them, it's not worth doing it before them, but once you have three of them, speak to the, uh, bird. <laughs> I am Togutseng, North Point Guardian of the Onir head headquarters. Mauhuna. Forgot they were called Ahuna, sorry. 
Gunnaloto and I watch all that changes with the wind. Did you have something to report? Not to you, but it looks like I need to report to your Ohuna. Gotolo cocks her head quizzically, nods at you, and finally holds your gaze. After a long moment, she casts her eyes up toward the sky and the mountain just beside Marakai. You sense that she wants you to travel up to Onara's roost. Approach Onara and Onara's roost. The following will be cast on you. Okay. Uh, Onara and Plains. Here we go. Whispering Breeze. Um, I need... Here we go. It says right here. Approach Onara and Onara's Roost. It tells you. I need Stolen Breath of Onara. Here. You need Exultant Incense Max Level, which you would get from uh, Alchemist. You can get at the Auction House. I'm pretty sure it's not too expensive. Um, I was able, I had, was able to make this, I have extras. I made six just for fun. And then Essence of Awakening. Essence of Awakening does require you to, this is part of why you need max rep to, that's a beautiful sunset. So you need to go to Marakai. You need to have high enough rep for this. You need to go to the quartermaster, Hussein. And from him, you need to buy Essence of Awakening, which requires, thankfully, only two things, which is occasional sand, just one of them, and Dragon Isle supplies, which hopefully you have at least 50 on you. Uh, oh, now I remember why I was carrying... Leather. What am I missing? Oh, I don't have Tails Try Rock. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back later and pick up this this little fella. Um anyway, what we're really here for is Essence of Awakening, so let's pick up one of those. And I would say don't bother farming it in uh Valdrasis the the sands. Just just go go See you soon. Go to the auction house. It's two gold. So now I have to go to Onara, who's right on top. Okay, that helps. A whispering breeze. Anara looks at you appreciatively. Stolen breath of Anara, exultant incense, or essence of awakening. And as you approach, the great Ohuna spirit settles on the ground and gazes at you. Gently, she lowers her head to touch your forehead with her own. In that moment, a comfortable warmth spreads within you. The winds are now within your reach. Divine kiss of Anara, the firing, firing, the following will be cast on you transforms you into a white wind eagle this is a flying mount so it's you don't mount it you turn into it this is cool let's see it's a divine kiss of onara as though welcomed by the wind itself so i'm gonna of course i'm gonna favorite that but let's see. Mount. You absolutely turn into one. That's cool. All right, that's cool. I need a thumbnail for my video. That's cool. But 
of course, it being, it being, Dragonflight, you get, you get, you can't fly. You can't fly because you're not a dragon. This person is just casually fishing here like, what is even going on? That's cool though. That's cool. Anyway. Why, why should druids have all the fun? But you know, it's still cool because I can fly elsewhere. And one day they will allow regular flying here. And maybe this this burb I can turn into can dragon ride. That would be fun. I'm a burb. I'm a burb and I have no non-flying animation. Anyway, that is what I'm going to call it. So, whenever you're watching, wherever you're watching, however you're watching, um, thank you for doing so.